Hey friends, I decided to take recording outside today because all of the kids are sleeping. Yes, it's a miracle. This week, I want to talk about pursuing your craft when you have kids. One second. <laughs> love being a mother. It is one of the greatest things I've ever done in my whole life. But I did not realize how challenging it would be to be a mom, which I love, and to be a writer, which I also love. The biggest struggle that I have is figuring out how to balance my time. How do I pursue writing and not neglect my children at the same time? Am I the only mom who deals with this? I didn't think so. Someday, these little children will grow up and they're going to leave. And I need to make sure that when that happens, I am not a shell of who I used to be because I became so consumed with being a parent that I never did anything else for myself. That's part of why I write still, or why I, I should say that's part of why I started writing again is because I need to be a person outside of a mother. So pursuing your craft when you're a parent is a challenge. I don't think anyone will argue with that. So how do we find balance? What exactly should we do to maintain pursuing our craft with excellence and pursuing our parenting with excellence? One thing that has worked out really well for me is creating a schedule in which I block in time to work. So I have one hour in the morning right before lunch that I work and I have one hour in the afternoon which is right at the at the midpoint of nap time and on where I have blocked off to work. Usually my older daughter does not nap. So I need to find time or so I use that time where my son is napping to spend time with her. I have been on this schedule for a few weeks now and I find that the days I stick to the schedule I do much much better mentally than the days where I don't stick to it. So I have learned that I am a schedule kind of person and that sticking to my schedule that builds in time for me to work on my craft really works well for me. The next thing I did is I created a daily writing schedule so that I would know at what time of the day I would be working on certain projects. That turned out to be much more complicated than I needed it to be and it was really hard to follow it. So I would have a morning block, an afternoon block, and an evening block that I would have various projects on so that throughout the week I was working on these different projects but only having that space of an hour was really hard for me to sit down and get focused. So I have revamped that and now every day I work on a different project. So today is Monday and technically according to my schedule, I should be working on my blog posts all day today, but this weekend was really busy and I did not get to recording my video. So here I am on Monday using up some of my time for blogging to work on the video. And that's fine. It's all about being adaptable, right? Life happens. As a parent, you totally know that life happens and you just have to roll with it. So I think that this daily schedule will work much better for me because then I know even if I only have an hour in the morning and I'm and I have to stop in the middle of a thought or something like that, I can pick it up in a couple hours and resume working on that instead of switching to a completely different project. I think that will work much better for me. I still work on all of my projects throughout the week. 
Um, so I maintain forward progress on all of the manuscripts I'm working on, but I'm not stuck bouncing between different projects on different days. That just was not working out for me. So, you know, that goes back to my having a plan that I talked about last week. I think for me as a parent, trying to do this as a parent, that having a plan really helps to keep me on track. A written down in a spreadsheet kind of a plan. Really the bottom line, pursuing your craft as a parent is, goes back to that darn thing called discipline, doesn't it? I find that I'm always coming back to that, that I need to choose to do what I need to do instead of wasting time doing something else, something meaningless, you know, scrolling through Facebook or whatever. I need to be more disciplined to simply choose to work on what I need to do in the limited amount of time that I have. A lot of people I've talked to say that they do better when they have a limited amount of time. They get more done because they feel that crunch as opposed to those who have all the time in the world to work. So, you know, so I'm giving that a try. I'm going to see if it's going to work. I would, I'd love to hear what's working for you. How do you, how do you find time to work on your craft as a parent? Help, help a mama out here. <laughs> like, what do you do? How do you make this work? I'd love to have different ideas because I think in a certain way, but I'll, you know, you think in a completely different way and I'd love to see what's working for you. So let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to hear it. You can always find me on Facebook and Instagram at Carrie Jellick Author, and I'd love to talk to you there as well. I have new videos on Tuesdays, new blogs on Wednesdays, sometimes on Thursdays. This week might be a special week too. I might have an extra little parenting blog this week, crafting and parenting and something. I obviously haven't written it yet. But I'd love, to, I'd love to have a conversation there too. So that's at carriejellock.com. That is all I have for today. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.